Okay, friends, subscribers, and all you YouTubers out there, as promised, what I've now got is all these little things you're currently seeing are anomalies that I found on a single image. One single Apollo 15 image. At the moment, folks, NASA is releasing some extremely high quality imagery and um, let's just say you've got to know the right places to go to get the imagery and um, at the moment I'm keeping that to myself mainly to the fact that there's a lot of stuff here i.e. like that's a person standing up and there's something else to that image that looks what could, well, could be a craft it looks like it could be an alien sticking its head out of one of these holes uh, I personally don't know it actually truly has me amazed. This one is similar to the STS uh, flying material like uh, being. At the moment, I'm just showing you the blown up images that I've snapshotted and everything. In a second, I'm going to go into a um, video that I captured on screen capture. I'm showing the more higher quality images. Um, to get these images, I've had to res up my pixelation per square inch up to 10,000 from 72. Some of these images go into the gigabytes, and I'm not just talking little gigabytes. One of the images in here is blown up to 319 gigabytes. And I mean 319 gigabyte. You'll see it soon. And I'll show you when I see it. It sort of hasn't come up yet. I must have captured it in this one. But um, it's in the video and everything. You will see it. Well, these are just what I pulled out of one little file. Um, I think the, the big ones haven't shown up. But now this one. This looks like it could be a vehicle coming out of one of these holes. It could be a building within the um, thing as I said like this one looks mechanical it looks structural doesn't look like a cra like a being of any description it could be a mining vehicle but there is definitely something going on in this and in here folks it's sort of um, oh, I'm sort of just showing you there how I get up into the res and, um, as you can see it's like 10 thousand pixels per square centimeter and yeah ten thousand pixels per square centimeter to get them up because they were only 72 when i first got it now look at that to me that is truly mechanical folks um it can't be anything else it's definitely mechanical looking at look at the structure of this thing it's coming out of one of these many holes that i showed you earlier um, in the moon's surface. This is from an Apollo. This is from all these images come from this one section out of this one little. This is a section of one of the images. And I'm saying a section like I quartered the thing. And every single one of these things you're seeing in here, uh, like that image, takes up almost a terabyte. But. Um, it sort of um, has just overridden my computer. It sort of it took me to load this one image into Photoshop a couple of hours. It sort of um, I, I remembered I was trying to flip it to show you. Um, I forgot that I'd done it, and I remembered shit. This is the big image, um, and like I mean, it's like just massive. It took forever to load it up to make this video. I'd say a good hour. To load this video up um, and yet this is not up to the, uh, the resolution of what the others are up to and because I've taken them up to an extremely high image now to me this actually image looks upside down but the way it was taken it sort of looks like it's the right way up because hence this is the thing but you can sort of see more from the other side but you can see a lot from this side it's sort of there's a lot in there what is it? I don't know, folks. It's sort of there's definitely something there, though, and it's definitely something that we need to research. 
we need to now seriously start saying, okay, now see you've released these images. What the hell are they really? It's sort of, don't stop hiding this crap from us. It's sort of, it's not right. You are hiding this stuff from us. And as you can see here, I'm just flipping through and everything, I'm trying to find everything that I've already found. In the process, I'm spotted down here and I've zoomed in and I found something else. Uh, I haven't actually done a small screen capture of this section yet, but I'm going to. It's sort of um, because this looks like there's, um, it's actually a radio dish, and that's what it looks like. It looks like a radio disc, um, and there's a track leading to it. And guess what it leads to? Holes. Yep, holes in the ground. It leads to holes in the ground. And um, that bit there, I say, it showed that. Uh, if you can jump back to it. Um, I showed that because it looked like that someone had skimmed the surface or something, but I think there's more to this than meets the eye. I think that surface structure there, what I'm seeing are extremely large, extremely large, and I mean extremely large objects. Um, could these creatures, whatever they are, vehicles, um, could these be the little visitors that Apollo astronauts said that they saw or they had little visitors? Um, and no, that is not the spacecraft or anything like that from NASA or anything. It's, um, let's just say, in the vicinity of these, we've landed no such craft. We have not landed any such craft. Not saying someone else, or could that be one of the holes? It looks like it could be a hole as well. But these little black holes, they're everywhere. And I mean they're everywhere. But there's also other things that are around these things. And the size of them, these are quite large. It's sort of, these aren't small. That could be a vehicle. It could be a building. Um, size of it. Yeah, roughly going by the crater size, it's at least, at least, it could be hundreds of metres in size. This, I don't know what this is. It's a, it could be a building, it could be a being. Um, but I can tell you now, these aren't natural. That's not a normal part of the moon's surface. Because these things have three-dimensional structure. Definite three-dimensional structure. What are they? Are they beings? Are they craft? Again, I have not raised the image at the moment. To get these images up to you, um, some of these images are quite large. Um, I've got to res them up even more. I'm trying to work out a way that I can do that. But the thing is, it's sort of you've got to look at the screen, folks, and sort of this. I'm not saying anything, but look at the screen. You will see something on the screen in some of these images. Now, that's that image. I cut it out and I flipped it over. Now, have a look at it. It sort of, that looks like a man standing. Um, what, could this be a town? Could this be multiple buildings? Um, I don't know. But whatever these are these are not normal structures are these is that an alien face right there it's a, you've got two eyes it looks like a mouth could this be an alien sticking its head out of one of these holes do these creatures live underground but I don't think these are that I think there's a lot more to this I'd really really I'm going to work on one, this image there's a couple of these images within this video that um, still require a lot of work and the one that's up to 300 gigabyte which is a, like a tiny and when I say tiny it's like an only 11 centimeter image I've jacked it up to um, I think it's 319 gigabyte um, that by the way um, and not that resed up but that is actually the uh, what do you call it? Um, that material like alien craft or being that Apollo astronauts said they saw flying around. Uh, not Apollo, the STS astronauts. Um, but, yeah, actually, no, the, uh, the Apollo astronauts did say they saw like a material like craft. Um, I reckon that's what that is. Uh, could be there. 
could this be a dinosaur? Um, to me, looking at it, yeah, it could be anything. It could be a craft. It could be a mining site. Um, it could be buildings. It could be could be anything, folks. It looks like it could be a building. It looks like it could be mining something. It looks like it could be a giant statue. It could be something sticking its head out of the hole. Uh, now, this one looks does look like it's an alien sticking its head out of the hole. Um, so, do we have a giant race of alien beings in a ship? Uh, they, these creatures are capable of sticking their head out into the atmosphere of what is on the moon. Yes, the moon does have an atmosphere. You only have to look at the moon and low-res your uh, exposure down and you will see a blue halo around the moon. Now, here we go, folks. We have a Wyburn, Rainbow Serpent, a Chinese Dragon, whatever you want to call it, definitely coming out of one of these holes. They are all over the moon. I spoke about them in the Dragon on the moon um, because Dragon means Wyburn, Wyburn means Worm. Um, it's sort of, um, yeah, Fierce Lizard. And now here it is. Now, we have this same type of creature comes out this bot's bottom of the sea. They have their, their thing in the sea bottom and everything like that. This one, I can't work out what it is. Is it a craft? Is it a um, someone sticking their head out of a hole? But is it a building? I don't know. It looks like many things to me. It's sort of, they seem to have very facial uh, features, a lot of these things. But to me, I think this is a vehicle. This is the best one. This is the 319 gigabyte image <laughs> raised up so high. But look what I found, folks. I found definite, definite proof that intelligence is on the moon. That looks like it could be, and now I'm going to say, it looks like it could be a wheel. Um, it looks like it could be just part of something of this thing. Now, you'll see me point up. See where I'm doing there, I'm pointing up to how it looks like there's ropes around different things. It looks like it could be a thing, but it also looks like it could be a vehicle. Could this be a cloaked mining vehicle? Um, but a lot of these things have the shape of the face on them. It's sort of, are they representing who they are? Could this be a spacecraft, a crashed, now I'm going to say it, a crashed spacecraft? Because, lo and behold, what did I find over here? What looks to be possible grave sites. Uh, they just happen to look like grave sites. It's sort of, but could they be buildings? Are we looking at more definition of what's really there on the moon? It's just I haven't gotten to the best resolution yet to actually say what they are. But they, there is the possibility they could be graves. Um, if you crashed on the moon, uh, whatever, and that stuff to the side of that ship yeah it could be a ripped opening in the side of the ship i don't think it is but um yeah there just seems to be a few strange mounds around this um site so that's why i said they could be graves but this truly is there's something to this image and this is i'm got to work on this one a lot more i'm going to fiddle with the contrasts and everything See if I can get a bit more definition to the thing. At the moment, all I have done is res. I've cut this image out of that one image, and I have res this to its maximum. And I mean maximum. It took the image to 319 gigabyte. I've had to upgrade my hard drive, like my computer. I've actually um, putting SATA cards in and everything like that because. So I can jack my computer, it's up at 6 terabytes already, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to jack this computer um, up to about 9 terabytes or more, get as many 3 terabytes hard drives, I think maximum I can get it up to about 18 or 24, um, if I put a SATA card in I may be able to get it up to 24 gigabytes at the moment, just so that I can process these images. Um, I've totally had to rebuild my computer because of these Apollo images. Uh, they're fairly high res, um, 472 re uh, resolution at um, for the size of the images, and even at 72 res, the images are extremely large. They're really talking like half a gigabyte just for the main image. Um, 
uh, yeah, 500 meg, uh, sort of, um, and that's for the main image, but then you've got to take it out when you're firing stuff like this, folks, yeah. The only way to get it up, if you res an image and keep on resing it and keep on resing it, eventually you're going to find what is really there. And um, I do have to start looking at the contrast. Now, we know that there is um, things now, These that is... Uh, what I think could be either a statue, it could be a being, uh, but it's definitely coming from within one of those holes, or is this what the head of these creatures look like? Have they got heads and has they got arms? In um, my uh, dragon video earlier in uh, my YouTube channel, I thought they had arms, and um, but it's definitely coming out of one of those holes. So the moon is dead. There's definitely something to the hollow moon theory because these things are coming out of the moon. Now, as I said, we've actually got these um, worm-type things in the bottom of the ocean. They come out, and they just sit there, and they wave in the ocean, and they just pick off their food as it comes past. Um, the thing about the, the things that are coming out of these holes, they actually leave these bloody holes. And, but you look at that, that is definite three-dimensional to this being. And I think this one could be a being. Uh, it could be a vehicle. could be a building. I don't know. I really don't know, folks. And I'm being honest about that. Um, I can only put up my theory. But see, the thing is, the reason why I said it's like a statue is I, like, I, I'm looking at that. Look at the bottom left corner. It actually looks like there's something to the backgrounds to these images. Um, yeah, now this one, that sort of, I've got a shot of it, um, put it up earlier. Yeah, it's got a shadow, folks. How in the hell has this thing got a shadow? But both of them actually look like there's something on the back. Or are they the same thing? Are they two ships um, with the same thing on the back? Is this a ship? Is this a vehicle? Is this like a building structure? Um, look at it. Examine it for yourself, folks. And make a judgment. I don't care if you make a judgment what you think it is. But the thing is, like, I'm looking at it and I'm saying, yeah, I call this one Dumbo. And I really don't know what this one is. It sort of, um, it just looks like it's Dumbo. Whatever it is, looks like it's got Dumbo ears. Sorry, folks, just needed a drink to get my voice back. But this one could be a building. This one could be a vehicle. It could be a life form. But all I can say to you at the moment is one thing. There's something on the moon, folks. You're seeing the physical evidence here on my channel now. These are from one NASA image. And the site that I get these images from, folks... There's thousands of these images, and I mean thousands. We're talking, I think I've seen well over 10,000 in the square type, in the panorama type. There's most probably 15,000 images, all taken of the same region. Um, you look at Google, I'll give you an idea of where these things are, is go to Google Earth, go to Google Moon, have a look at the moon. Then have a look at that, what looks to be a high-res panorama that they've spread over the moon. And it goes from one side. I think Apollo 16 is in that um, area. And um, they're not in there. Some, A couple of bits are. That um, flaggy-type creature is. But most of these images that you're actually seeing come from underneath that area the stuck the sections that aren't exposed and everything but these are the images that nasa now this one is actually quite strange oh, i can't tell you what the hell that is it sort of looks like it could be coming out of the hole um it looks like it could be a dragon-like creature it's sort of but whatever this thing is it's big. That thing was very big. Like, I estimate that to be um, just in round width. Yeah. Now, look at this. These look like there's something either coming out of the hole or they're sitting on the ground. 
Um, and to me, in it, it looks like they're playing. And I mean playing. Um, they look like they could be um, higher echelon beings with pets. Um, oh, you look at this one. It looks like there's something on the ground and it looks like it's playing with another being. There's something truly to this. It's sort of... Um, that one looks like it's floating. The one on the left-hand side looks like it's actually floating. Looks like it's got a shadow. Um, I'll tell you now, mate, folks, when I found all these, I thought, looking at them and everything, and at first they just were dots. But when I rezzed up that image and virtually took up most of my hard drive, um, yeah, I started seeing all this stuff. And I have totally filled a hard drive just with all these these few images. These few images. And I'm talk not talking like a little hard drive, folks. I'm talking a terabyte hard drive. Terabyte. And that's why I'm upgrading my computer to be up to 24 terabytes. Um, I wish I could get my hands on those six, uh, six terabyte hard drives that are just coming out right now. Expensive as all crap, but uh, I'll tell you now, if I... If they came out on the market tomorrow, I would jack, turn around and go and jack in my computer eight terabyte hard drives. Eight, sorry, eight, six terabyte hard drives. Just so I can process these images and get this software going. And um, this one I can't work out, folks. I think it's a vehicle. It could be a house. I don't know. So it's the weirdest shape of thing I've ever seen. But again, it, it looks like it's got a face to it. Um, but... Uh, what are they? I don't know. I really don't know. I am as stumped as you. This one, yeah, this is a vehicle, or it's a tent covering a vehicle. There was something to that one image. Um, there is a worm coming out of a hole, but it's also looks like it's got different colours. Now, I've got photos of those in other things. I couldn't find it tonight, um, where it's actually a rainbow colour. It's sort of somebody said they took a photo of it, and then they said it was an, uh, a spacecraft that was moving so fast that it showed off all these different colours. That's what the person thought. They didn't actually capture something moving so fast and made a serpent-like tail. They caught one of those objects, and that's what it looked like. It was the rainbow serpent. The Aboriginals of Australia worshipped a rainbow serpent. Um, yeah, this one... 100% bewildered, folks. I do not know what this one is, but there's definitely some structure here. Something doesn't belong. Yes, the same being or spacecraft that was seen from the STS. Is that a building? Is it a dinosaur? Is it a statue? Again, I don't know, folks. God, look at them. Make your own mind up. Work out what they are, because I can tell you now... I need us just as much help. That looks like an alien face. Looks like, and it, but it's coming out of one of those holes. Could be. Is that what their heads look like? Have we? Have I found another alien species? I don't know. But I can tell you now. NASA knows what's going on. But this one, this one is the ultimate image of the lot. This one is what proves that there is an alien life form on the moon, whether or not they are visiting the moon, or whether or not this is a moon vehicle but it's definitely covered over and it's yeah but the strange thing is it looks like it's a dam in the shape of a face or is that the shape of the spacecraft is it something that has landed on the moon um but it's definitely something there and there's weird looking mounds around it could they be graves could this be a scrap crash spaceship i don't know folks i don't know but whatever this thing is this one image alone now proves there is life and alien extraterrestrial life currently. Oh, sorry, they might not be there now, but at the time of Apollo 15, Apollo 16, Apollo 17, because trust me, I've seen similar things in Apollo 16 images. I've seen similar things in Apollo 17 images. I just haven't gotten to processing those because I have found so much in just one image. You're not even seeing everything that I have found in that one image because I don't have the hard drive space to blow this stuff up anymore. I actually, I'm waiting to the weekend until I get the SATA card so I can jack another two hard drives into my computer. 
so that I can actually process some more images. The only thing I can do is shrink the images down. I don't want to do it. I'll try compressing them down in RAR and um, all I could get was 200 gigabyte. But where, how in the hell am I going to store 200 gigabyte except on a damned hard drive? This one image alone, as I said, is 316 gigabyte. Now, in a second, I'm going to zoom down on that white patch. And I started seeing other things. Now, is that thing extremely large? Um, could that be a giant alien structure on the moon's surface surrounded by like surrounded by like a town or whatever it's sort of something smaller could there be other alien life forms on the moon um and like i was looking at just the color variations all around the, all around this thing and it looks like there could be a city there this thing could be in the thing but i don't think it is i think it's just the way it is but i think it's very much like the um aztec plains because there's definitely things cut into the surface um, as if to say, oh, well, this is who we are. This is what we do. We fly to planets and we join, make giant Aztec lines into the landscape. Um, we use our special craft to make these things or whatever. Um, but whatever it is, folks, there's something going on on the moon. It's not human. It's sort of, this is beyond our technology. And even... Even now, I believe this is beyond, yes, beyond our current technology. I do not think we have the technology of what we were seeing back when I was only a child. And uh, that's a lot of years ago, folks, because this is an Apollo 15 image taken from the orbiter. Now, look at that. This is what I said. I zoomed in on this image. And that's when I started seeing all this weird shit. It's sort of, um, is there something more to what we're seeing here? Is this more camouflage? It's sort of, as I said, there's that big giant holes on the, in the thing. It's sort of, um, yeah. I don't know what this is, folks, but I can tell you now. This ain't natural. Um, again, look at that face. There's a lot of these facial type things in the landscape. Whether are they cut into the landscape? Are they? Uh, are we seeing like multiple life forms? It's sort of just in different ways. It's sort of just being captured by the thing. Because look.